Elementary teachers, growing a garden with your class sounds like an impossible task sometimes because you think you don't have the skills, the time, the budget, or approvals for it. And none of these are necessarily true. I talked about the skill yesterday. That's a very good video. Find and watch that. Today, I want to talk to you about time. You're a teacher and teachers are very busy and that is an understatement of the century. We all know that. Nobody can dispute that. And you're thinking, how am I supposed to find this extra time to bring an extra subject growing a class garden into my class? And that's a very good question if you look at it that way. But what if I told you that's not really true? Let's say that you have a plate that's full. Well, as a matter of fact, you have several plates and all of them are full. You have a math plate and a language plate and a science plate and an arts plate and a social studies plates, etc. Now you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to add another plate called garden and that's going to be filled with a bunch of stuff. And of course, I don't have time to do that. But that's not really the case. The case is that you have a new plate that's empty called the garden. And what you're going to do is that you're going to take the stuff from your math and language and science and social studies, etc., and put them on this new plate. That's not going to need extra time in your prep or your class. It only means that you're serving the same stuff that you had to do anyway on a different platform on a different modality that will add variety to your classroom and it will engage more types of learners. And it's exciting. It has happened so many times that the best students in my gardening classes were those that were driving their science and math and language teachers crazy because some kids just learn much better in a garden. And if you look at gardening in that way, then you suddenly realize you don't necessarily need more prep time or more class time. Maybe you can teach the same topics that you had difficulty to teach to certain students in a much more effective way. Now, I go into details and explain all of that and a lot more in the School Gardens with Ease 2024 free webinar. Go grab your spot on the webinar. I'll see you in there.